An army of insurgents have arrived by a nearby U.S. Army dock. They soon engage with the U.S. Army, who has to respond by defending a large ship that's filled to the brim with intel on the U.S. Army military base nearby. The Army must defend or risk losing the entire region to the insurgents. Hey boys, what's going on? It's me, Daily Tactics here, and we are back in Call to Arms, and this is actually Vanilla Call to Arms. We rarely do Vanilla Call to Arms, but it was calling me. To arms! Okay, either way, what we've got here is the US defending a large ship here. Uh, they have a few vehicles on board the ship, including two mortars, uh, an M1 Abrams, and a piece of mobile, mobile artillery. Uh, they've also got some tow missiles as well as heavy machine guns and a lot of infantry. Then they've got perimeter defenses around the ship as well. And in this city over here, they've got some more Abrams. Uh, they've got some strikers and more infantry scattered throughout. They've also got another... Uh, tank position up here on this hillside but they are getting attacked from three different directions from these insurgents one direction is over here where they have a few tanks uh some technicals and then also some troop carriers as well um and then they've got a smaller division coming from the far left over here and then finally about a medium division coming from the far right over this way and they're all going to be converging on the middle towards the ship right here it should be a really awesome battle and we'll see if the u.s can defend defend the ship against all these insurgents. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and get 800 likes in the first 24 hours. It helps me out a ton in the algorithm. Also subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 400,000 subscribers, baby. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more call to arms in the future. Either way, guys, without further ado, why don't we get right on into this battle? Alrighty then gamers, why don't we get right on into this thing and see what happens. We'll go and press start here and go in slow-mo. This is one of those battles that I actually didn't test because I feel like it's more interesting to see what happens in the moment and my, uh, you know, reactions will be a little bit more uh, spontaneous because I really don't know what the odds of either side winning are here and you can't really do that with every video because a lot of videos there's a certain level of like okay you want it to be fair between both sides but with this kind of video it's so random as to who could win this it's like can the defenders hold out or are the attackers strong enough to do it I mean uh, there's just so many equations into this that's really hard to balance a video like this properly and so I really don't know who is going to be capable of winning this and uh, who is not so I, I think this is a good video to just sort of get uh, preliminary reactions from as we go about it either way US Army deployment soldiers here are defending as best they can right now their tanks are pivoting to uh, begin to aim for the enemy currently oh let's check out the three uh, artillery strikers over here are doing where are those guys at not over here oh here they are oh <laughs> they're not doing especially well are they uh, are these two even still alive they are okay so we still have two strikers currently alive let's go in semi slow mode over here and watch them see if they manage to uh, get any more kills they do uh fire out a little bit more right now Oh, it is laggy. It is laggy. We gotta go full slow-mo for at least a little bit here. Uh, enemy tanks also firing out out this way uh, against the U.S. forces right now. Let's see if they actually see these strikers. These strikers are behind a hill, so they actually have a bit of like almost a surprise element to them. But one of them gets hit in the back by a missile. There's only one left alive. Let's hope it can strike out against this uh, Russian borrowed tank right here. Come on, baby. Give us that sweet fire. It did just fire a moment ago, so it might still be reloading currently. I'm not totally sure what it's got in its arsenal. Oh, and an RPG goes and hits it. So it does not manage to get its shot off. However, it looks like something else is firing at this Russian tank right now, maybe taking it out. Uh, we've got a number of technicals and uh, one of the troop transports up here that decided to bum rush the U.S. position. Here's actually some U.S. soldiers here. I believe they were behind this wall uh, who managed to probably take these things out as they tried to bum rush them. Bum rushing with the technical isn't exactly the best strategy, I would say. They're just so weak in armor. Here comes another bum rush over on the right side here. That driver gets shot up before he can get too far forward. The technical behind him, though, being a little bit more intelligent and actually firing in 
its 50 cal from the back. Maybe it'll hit a few of these U.S. soldiers. Who knows? It is weakening a few of them. Uh, but these are actually some very, very elite U.S. soldiers. Uh, these guys in particular right here, they're the Tier 5 soldiers. I don't know what that means uh, exactly, but I know they have better armor and better health. Uh, meanwhile, like the more green guys here are the Tier 1s, uh, so they have worse armor and uh, worse health. And then there's a whole bunch in between and stuff like that when it comes to them. And, and the same goes for the insurgents, um, the GRM forces. The ones in more civilian clothes are weaker, uh, and the ones in more military looking clothes, and then the ones with actual armor on are stronger for the uh, insurgents over here. They're firing in at a small US force over this way that's mostly been taken out, and a tank is actually roaming through the back lines of it now. This Abrams over here is on fire currently, having probably taken a shot from the side from one of these tanks. The striker over here was supposed to be covering it, but it seems like it was actually blocked by an oil canister right there, so it was not able to. We do have another Abrams over this way that's defending currently, taking out a number of uh, technicals, tanks, uh, etc. over this way, but it itself might be getting flanked pretty soon uh, by the Russian tanks that are coming through over this way. We've also got a small US force right around here that's just sort of hiding out. Looks like they don't have any AT rockets or AT grenades to their name currently, so they just kind of have to sit here and chill right next to that Russian tank, which is no good. This Russian tank over here has been tracked. Uh, I believe it must have been these US soldiers who did that. Can't see what else could have done that. Uh, this artillery piece up here on the ship itself has gone down. A few of the uh, ship's crew members are firing away, but the Abrams on the ship has also gone down. So a lot of the US vehicles are not faring too well, but I have noticed that the infantry for the US is doing really, really exceptionally well. So that's kind of an interesting uh, little thing right there is that the infantry is doing poorly, but the tanks are doing, or sorry, the infantry for the US are doing poorly, or, well, oh my God. The infantry for the US are doing well, but their tanks are doing very, very poorly. There's only one Abrams left alive over here. Maybe you can get a few more kills. Let's bump it up a speed here. I think enough units have died that it'll be okay. And it takes a shot and it goes through the very front of that Russian tank there. The Russian tank takes a shot at the US tank. The Russian tank is on fire as well. Perhaps it'll go down due to engine burnout? I am not fully sure. The US tank seems okay. Oh, it's not gonna burn out right there. US tank is still alive, however, so uh, that thing will be able to clap back probably, although it's facing the wrong direction at this point which is no bueno at all. It is getting shot at quite a bit here from the Russian tank. No good, no good at all. Bunch more Russian tanks are uh, moving down center here. The US do have a number of soldiers uh, with AT uh, rifles and things like that as well. So they should be able to take out some of these Russian tanks if they do get too close. Uh, but you know, you don't want them getting too near your final objective here. Uh, yeah, here's some of the AT uh, riflemen. There's also a tow missile uh, launcher up here as well. So the US does still have a number of weapons that can be capable of taking out these Russian tanks as they come forward, but there are still a lot of Russian tanks and that is a pretty scary thing. There we go, massive explosion hitting the Russian, or sorry, the insurgent lines right there. They're just insurgents using Russian tanks. Russian supplied insurgents, if you will. This soldier has used up all of his AT rifles right there. That is not a good sign in the slightest. What happened to that tank we saw over here? Oh, it's still alive. It's just getting absolutely berated by incoming enemy fire right now on all angles. This is not a good thing for it. Its crew is probably completely concussed right now. So it's probably having a real, real bad time at the moment. Not a good time at all. This Russian tank just absolutely trying to go at it currently. No bueno. Uh, but still, the ship is in US uh, hands right now. We are seeing some rockets getting fired out at the Russian tanks. Hopefully, a few of those uh, will connect and will eliminate uh, some of these insurgent attackers here. All right, let's check in over on this end of the battlefield. Uh, looks like the US uh, soldiers that were defending over here did end up getting wiped out, uh, but it does look like they did take a number of enemies with them, which is a good thing. Uh, straight down middle here, we've also got a mix of downed insurgents and US soldiers here too. It is quite a destructive battlefield at the moment. There's just 
shells hitting everywhere, bullets flying every which way. This is not a battle I would want to be on the ground of. It's just very chaotic and so much going down. Surprisingly enough, there's still a lot of US soldiers in the way, way front over here. This is pretty impressive that these fellas have managed to live for this long during the battle. This is just such a dangerous zone to be in. It's really, really some impressive stuff. And there's a lot of insurgents currently pressuring them from all different sides right now. This is a scary battle to be a part of, and that is for sure. Oh, the tow missile up here gets hit by a uh, Russian rocket or something along those lines, which takes it out. And uh, that's going to be the end of that thing. Rip, rip, potato chip. Oh, we do have some mortar fire striking out over here. Maybe that'll track some of these Russian tanks. That would be very nice for the U.S. soldiers right here. Uh, not sure if that will happen, but uh, hopefully it does. I, I don't know totally. The ship is getting knocked out from a distance, though, which is no bueno at all. Lots of the soldiers that are on the ship right now are fighting for their lives completely. Why don't we go ahead and reman some of these tow missile... Uh, weapons because they are still usable and the troops can hop on them if they wish so let's go ahead and get these guys on the uh, tow missile cannons and uh, try and get them also on these 50 cals see if they can't clap at some of these uh, Russian tanks I don't know they, they might be main gun damaged or something like that nope this one will fire out but it completely misses I guess that man was not trained very well on the tow missile <laughs> so a uh, bit of a choke right there but that that sure does happen to even the best of them uh, we've got a head of a Russian tank here. Nope, that's a striker head. Rip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, how are the insurgents doing over here, by the way? Lots of downed Russian tanks over here for the insurgents. And it looks like their infantry is taking a bit of a beating currently, trying to move on forward over this way. U.S. soldiers not giving up this ground lightly at all. Wait, let me pause real quick. My dog's going after my cat. One sec. All right, tension diffused between cat and dog right there. <laughs> okay, um, U.S. soldiers up on the ship uh, did try and uh, you know, take... Re oh, no, there is a trooper on the tow missile right there. I thought they uh, attempted to retake that, but failed. But no, there is a trooper right there. Also, it's really funny that there are U.S. soldiers right next to these Russian tanks. Russian tanks aren't really able to get line of sight and see them, but the U.S. soldiers don't really have any anything to take out these tanks right here so they're just having to deal with them uh being in their vicinity while they're still fighting against uh multiple different insurgents and things like that that are pressuring their position right here it's a really quirky situation for those u.s soldiers to be in right there it's definitely not something i would want to be a part of <laughs> it just sucks man uh this mortar right here has lost one of its crew members but the other one is still alive and kicking Oh, lots of these guns going down. Come on, tow missile. Reload and fire away. Unless it's out of ammo, in which case that is a very bad thing. <laughs> we just don't have that much anti-tank capabilities. And all the tow missiles that we do have are just missing or bouncing off of these old Russian tanks currently. That is no bueno at all. I really thought all of the strikers and Abrams that I gave the U.S. would be a bit more effective here. But they just weren't. Really? Uh, well, and that could actually partially be that the technicals that bum rushed at the very beginning of this battle soaked up so many of the Abrams and Strikers shots that at the end of oh, look, bird. that at the end of the day uh, they didn't have shots loaded for the oncoming Russian tanks. And so therefore the Russian tanks were going in without any sort of resistance uh, because all of the Abrams were reloading. And so now the Russian tanks have no Abrams to deal with because they dealt with them uh, with little to no resistance going on. All right, let's go into normal speed here. Now the US soldiers are just being taunted by these Russian tanks. Apparently there's literally nothing they can do. They don't have any sort of uh, anti-tank weapons or anything like that, which is really weird. I thought the US soldiers would all be equipped with at least one anti-tank uh, grenade or something like that, but apparently that is not the case here, so the Russians are just cruising on through. Uh, keep in mind, the insurgents that were supplied by the Russians here, they've lost so many infantry troopers across this battlefield. Uh, I mean, they started with way more than we're seeing on the battlefield right now, but it's truly the tanks that ended up winning this battle for them. Um, yeah, the tanks were the saving grace of the insurgent forces currently. There's just a few pockets of U.S. resistance currently on the battlefield, um, and they will go down probably relatively soon. Let's go ahead and hop this trooper on that. Let's try and hop this trooper on this tow missile and hop this trooper on this tow missile. Try and give the U.S. forces a fighting chance, but they get hit 
by another tank shell and those troopers all go down right there yikes uh, so now it looks like there's like four or five troopers over this way who are likely to go down pretty soon um, and then there is one trooper way up here with a machine gun uh, there's not even dynamite in these things bro all right trooper with the machine gun try and get on that tow missile I'll help you out I'll help you out here we go here we go here we go here we go and no he gets clapped almost immediately we got four US soldiers back here uh, these are actually seals uh, which is pretty impressive let's try and get them behind some cover here uh, and oh run 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 go 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 we'll try to get you out of here actually come on we got low health move it all right all right try and hit some some fellows back there ow move okay all right into the building we go all right try and heal up just a sec try and heal up try and heal up the last soldier philip adams is his name he's got five kills actually that's very impressive five kills is a lot he is a seal so i guess that makes sense all right good stuff he's all healed up let's peek out here <sighs> oh you can't shoot through that window apparently there we go SEAL TEAM 6! Let's go, boys! Alright. Took out those two. Any others? There's more further right over there. Okay. And we book it. Go, Philip! Go, Philly D! <laughs> Run, Philly! Tell of what happened here! The insurgents have invaded. Alright. I thought the US would do a little bit better than that, but they just didn't manage to. They did kill a lot of insurgents. And remember that if tanks run over bodies, they delete them. And also explosions delete bodies. So there were probably a lot more dead insurgents than are shown right here. But even with just this amount, I'd say the US soldiers managed to kill two times as many insurgents. Um, however, it was just the tanks that dominated the battlefield. I, I just don't know how. It was crazy, actually, how well these tanks ended up doing. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more Call to Arms battles in the future. Either way, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.